Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Pitch Me, the series where we're giving you guys the opportunity to pitch, propose, or partner with us, or participate, or I don't know, I have a lot of P words, um, in something we are thinking about. With me, as always, is WatchMojo founder and CEO Ashkan Karbisfrushan to talk about WatchMojo.org. So a couple other P words, profit and non-profits. Right. Well, that's actually one word. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. That's how much planning goes into these things. There's another P. Um, so we've talked a little bit about this is the year where I wanted to do all the things that have been kind of simmering, plotting, punting, um, <laughs> and you know not getting to. So a couple years ago, uh, a couple things happened that were unrelated, but you know happened at the same time. Uh, you know, we celebrated ten years. I went on vacation. I wrote a book, and on my, vacation, on vacation, <laughs> you know, as I was also partying and just relaxing and, and drinking and eating food. And my mother-in-law, who's a saint, usually people don't love their mother-in-law, but my mother-in-law was a saint. She was very, you know, warm and you know, fantastic human being. Uh, she passed away uh, a year before she was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And we didn't know this, but basically the life expectancy after that is, is about a year. And um, so I was like, you know what? It's 10 years. I've wanted to do this. Let's launch an, like a vehicle that could basically help out different causes. And, you know, I'd say Christine and I, if we had to kind of like bucket in terms of what is really important to us, I would say there's one that's like obviously health. Like everybody is, you know, health is important. And then the other one is kind of like, to me, is like the intersection between education and entrepreneurship, which I think kind of more and more go hand in hand, and really is what makes people, what, when they're alive and healthy, have a better life, right? So I was like, hey, this is a no-brainer. Let's just release this book, and all proceeds go to um, you know, this charitable endeavor. And I was always very worried that, oh, you know, the YouTube audience is always very cynical and fickle, so to speak. And I was like, oh, they'll kind of view it as... You know, are we being cynical? And I, I won't lie, there was just so much going on. We didn't have as big of a team, and I didn't have as big of a support team as I do now. So we kind of shelved it. So this year, I kind of said, we're doing, we're bringing this. We're going we're gonna to look at what we want to do. And part of that is because, you know, we reach 150 million unique viewers a month across our 30 channels. That's a massive number. You know, we have 20 million subscribers on the core channel. We have 35 million subscribers it's time, you know, and I think there's a lot of other YouTubers who have done a fantastic job of mobilizing their audiences. And, you know, I think when it comes to Watch Mojo, we are a family. And so we've always, like, behind the scenes, you know, as we get older and our family, parents get older, there's always causes that behind the scenes we're kind of just donating to or whatever because something happens to the family. But so I want to now kind of take it to the next level. And I guess one is I'm curious, like, how would we, how should we proceed? There's a lot of people that have a lot of experience here. I don't want to just dive in with good intentions and then, you know, God forbid, it, it, it blows back and it doesn't go well. So one is like ideas on how to proceed. Two, and I don't mean to be stereotypical, but I'm going to assume like things like AIDS research or most cancer foundations get a lot of funding and they're always top of mind. And, you know, I always like to root for the underdog. Like what are some charities, what are some causes that are really, really good causes, not better than others, but that generally are overlooked, you know. The other thing is, accountability matters to me. So what are some of the charities where most of the money you give them goes to the intended party? You know, like, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not on your board of directors of, like, how you run your charity. But if you are a charity that, like, close to 100% of the money you raise goes to the cause, that's, I'll be twice as well. So I think the purpose of this episode is just to kind of say, I want to have a video that explains the background that when I shared with people that we could start to get in. And then there's a lot of like, I would call it gimmicky, but imagine if we said 12 months in a year, the fan base votes for the top 10 causes that matters to them. And we rotate and each month we raise money for a different cause. And we also thankfully have a lot of media companies and a lot of sponsors that we could then kind of mobilize and say, hey, this isn't just a campaign we're running using a, la a latest sponsor, Universal Pictures or Netflix or the US Army, but we're gonna basically combine a, a, a project that we're promoting with a given month and a cause and then kind of mobilize you know, the audience that we have. So that's basically the point. I don't know if you, I mean, we've discussed about stuff like this at the company, but what would you do? Oh, like you what have cause? the keys. No, uh, not just cause. Like, what do you think? What would be something that, like, if you were 
driving this ship, you're like, I can't believe we haven't done. Or what would you, why, not that why wouldn't we do this, what are some of the things you'd look out to avoid, so to speak? That's a big question. I mean, I, Which I is why we've not done it this Yeah, far. I mean, I don't have any... Any causes I support. I don't, I don't, yeah, <laughs> no, I don't, well, it's a joke. I mean, I don't want to say this out loud, but like, my family's relatively healthy. There's not any, like, you know... Oh, wait a yeah, No, I, I'm very uh, superstitious. <laughs> But um, I, I honestly don't have an answer for that question. But I mean, are, are there companies, like I know there's a lot of YouTubers uh, that do things well, and I'm always like, wow, that's so commendable. I think one of the, and I really want to use my words carefully here, one of the easy things of being just an influencer, and I don't mean just in a diminished way, I mean when you don't have 50 people at the table that want to have a say is, you could just say, hey, I really want to help this cause and just do it. Yeah. And as much as you may not have the big support team, you'll find time, it's charity. One of the challenges I've had is, okay, let's say, if I were to say we wanna support you know, brain cancer research, it's, there's a cause. If we say we wanna support Alzheimer's because there's people in the company who, who are, you know, have family members that are, it's like easy to kind of explain and everybody backs it. But I think one of the challenges was also, I was like, well, what if you get different people that wanna pursue different things through different executions? But anyway, so that's something we're gonna be doing more of this year. We've already started. We've already started to kind of talk to different organizations. We're going to have probably people who are going to lead this. So if you're watching this and you're like, hey, that's, we're, you know, hands up, that's the time. Why, why should we not work with you? But like, you know, how could we work with you, so to speak, to, to touch, kind of help and make this a priority that I would say for the past three, four years I've had in the back of my mind. Okay. So let us know in the comments if you have any ideas and we will see you next time.